It is absolutely fun to drive. It is absolutely a disruptive technology. In that, it's extremely hard to talk about because it's very new. It's a new market segment, and it's something that has not been done before. So the customer hasn't gotten used to seeing it before. So this baby is, is all about the future, and this is step one. The ease of being able to plug in is, is key, but folks have locked in their mind 40 miles. Oh, that's just, I can't, I can't buy that product. I, I, I need more than 40 miles. So we have to figure out a way to convey, no, it's 350. Uh, it's, it's going to the gas station. It's plugging in where you can, when you can. And it's just like any other vehicle in that sense, but it's more. I mean, when you get it and drive it, it's much more fun to drive, and it could be all about electricity prices. I think the biggest, biggest thing is about this 40 mile limited range. When the vehicle is launched into the market, what is going to be the informing mechanism for what it's like to drive this? To me, it's going to be blogs the Twitter, the Facebook sites, the social media will drive the good, the bad, and the ugly about this product. And I don't know how much control we'll have over that, but in that, you'll hear the folks that are actually owning and driving the vehicles, they'll talk about it, and they won't mention 40 miles. They'll mention using it to drive to the lakeshore on the weekend, uh, tailgating, uh, this kind of thing, where you think, oh, geez, you don't really have to have a known duty cycle a range to be able to do something like that. Flexibility, you're going to see it. But it's driven by them. That, that message will be driven by them. But it's all about range. Range anxiety, believe it or not, is still there. And we've done everything that we thought possible to educate the consumer, but that 40 mile, 40 mile locked in the ring. I would say that Michigan State University, and, and I was in the physics department, so I have that as, as uh, my uh, undergrad major as well. It prepared me extremely well. I think of my career at GM, R&D, running an academic, or actually creating an academic partnerships program to work with researchers across the globe in areas that we were using in our R&D portfolio. But also, I've been working the last nine years in energy and environmental policy. So is that you know, true engineering? Well, I would say I think and operate as an engineer, an engineer first, physicist maybe as well. But you can do anything. The engineering career, and this is something I bring back to Michigan State when I have a chance to talk there to the students. It's a fabulous foundation. You can go and do anything you want with an engineering career, especially from an outstanding university like Michigan State University. This Greening of the Great Lakes vodcast is produced by Michigan State University and News Talk 760 WJR for MLive.com.